it's like the third time tonight that I've heard footsteps. It's ice cold. You hear like feet, right? Like you hear like grass rustling, like yeah. kind of close yeah, by. Yeah, it's like a rustle. Cemeteries have been known to be hot spots for ghost sightings and paranormal activity as long as we can remember. Which leads us to ask, are spirits attached to the place they physically die? Or are they attached to their lifeless body after it's placed underneath the cold earth? Most who have witnessed any spirits or caught them on camera in graveyards claim it was dark and late into the night hours. Tonight, Steve and I will be spending the night in a local cemetery which is rumored to have sightings of ghostly figures wandering the headstones and we're going to see if we can capture anything out of the normal on camera. Come with us as we spend the night in another episode of Hunting Purgatory. So going into this video, we really didn't expect to catch too much. A lot of people would think that cemeteries are actually places where there'd be a lot of spirit activity. But, but like you mentioned earlier, I mean, that's not even guaranteed because that's where their body is resting. You would think that's where all the bodies are at. It's an odd thing, da, 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 but no one really ever investigates them because they assume all of them are at rest. You've even said that you've heard people say that's just like a weird line. It's a weird cemetery. My buddy used to live right across the street of where the road leads up to. Yeah. And like me, Granted, he was younger, yeah. but like to this day, he'll still say like he just didn't like it at night. He never went like outside, like towards that area right, right. at night, you know. And it could just be because of the cemetery. Yeah, right? yeah like, I was just gonna say the same thing. Yeah, like I think I think anybody would feel uncomfortable being at a cemetery at night at a graveyard. pitch black out here, man. Upon arriving at the cemetery, it definitely felt a little bit strange just knowing that we are walking past tons of dead bodies that are only six feet away from where we're standing. Steve and I swept the cemetery for about 40 minutes with the EMF detectors and we didn't pick up any spikes on the meter. So we decided to use the thermal camera and while we didn't pick up any full body apparitions on this hunt, what we did find was a bit odd. A lot of the graves are actually warm, which is weird. Yeah. Look at this. See this? Look at It's like, it's ice cold out here though. Everything just went hot. What's going on? What's cold? I move the light. What is that? That's weird. What is it picking up? The trees? I don't know what that's picking up. I'm hearing noises. I'm hearing noises too. This way. Yeah. You hear like feet, right? Like, you yeah. hear like grass rustling, like yeah. kind of close yeah. by? Yeah, it's like a rustle. This wasn't the first time where we experienced something like this. We've been to many locations where we've heard sounds and noises, and when we investigate where the noises are coming from, there's no explanation for it. I could hear the wind blowing, but yeah. I could decipher yeah. a different yeah. sound that yeah. sounds yeah. like... Here, um... All of these are pretty much kind of like coming in hot, which is weird. Look at this. Like that, that... That headstone is coming in hot. That one's coming in hot. Uh, 92. 92 degrees? There's no way it's 92 degrees. Yo, I'm gonna put my hand on it. Here, hold this. It's ice cold. I mean, like, I mean, like, ice cold. There's no reason that that should be coming in hot. Now, this one's hot too. 
Yeah, look at, oh wow, look at that temperature. Yeah, that's 120. 120 degrees? This one headstone in particular was coming in about 30 degrees hotter than all the rest. So if that was 120 degrees, that would feel like freaking really, really hot, right? Okay. Here, it's wet. Let me see something. Let me touch it. Sorry, Angwin. This one's actually warm. The warm one? Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like it would be 120 degrees, but it's kind of warm. Yo, let's try a uh, EMF detector on it and see what we get. Right. On top of that, the EMF detector only went off in one place the entire night, and guess where that was? Penguin. If you're here, would you like to communicate with it? Do you see that? Yeah. Penguin. Are you trying to send a message to the world? What did it, what did it go to? went to red. Angwin, if you're here, can you please give us a sign that you'd like to communicate with us? Give us a sign that you're here. I can even leave this on top if you'd like. I don't have to touch it. This was the only spot that we were picking up any kind of signal, so we decided to set up the spirit box. Angwin, if you're here with us right now, can you give us a sign? Can you say something? Angwin, we thought we heard you say not now or not how. We know you said something. Can you say it again for us, please? You hear that? I heard like no. I heard no. Right, that was a station the second time. That's a station. The first one was like a, a muffled no. Yeah. Angwin, do you want us to leave? Are you upset that we're here disturbing you? You hear that? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't make out what it was. Is that Charles Angwin? Is this Is Florence? This, uh, what if it's not? Then who would it be? Who are you? Identify yourself. Say I'm sorry. <laughs> that was weird. That was pretty clear, yeah. right? It sounded like I'm sorry. If this is the resting spot of Charles and Florence Angwin, if you guys are actually here and willing to communicate, we're not coming with cruel intentions and we're not trying to harm you in any way. Can you give us a sign? Hmm. Hmm. What did he say? I thought I heard checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. Let's listen back and see if, you know. It's not fun. No. It's not fun. What? She said it's not funny. Dude, I just saw a shadow over there. Mm. <laughs> Did you see that? Like, you know how when you see like light disappear and go back? Yeah, yeah. It looks like someone walked across that. It seems the area we're at right now. Yeah. It's more active than when we do our sweeps. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? As far as things going off and all that stuff. Right, right. Steve and I decided to split up in the cemetery. Steve went to one end, I went to the other end, so that we would not be distracted at all by one another, and we could use our senses to listen. And I kept hearing those footsteps over and over. I keep hearing noises. Steve is on the other side of the cemetery right now. Hello? I really hope that the camera is picking that up. Because I can hear footsteps and it sounds relatively close and every time I look around, uh, there's nothing there. There was definitely leaves rustling. It's weird. 
people please try to communicate again. You can speak, say something, you can walk around me, whatever form of communication you would like to do. like the third time tonight that I've heard footsteps um, that I know are not mine. Heard it a couple times while we were doing. Did you guys hear that? What's that? Yo. Yo. What's up, dude? You got anything? Um, I'm gonna have to review it with the with the computer. Yeah. I I heard something on one of them. Okay. I'm doing them in about two minute bursts or so. Yeah. And one of them has it. I want to say it was like the fourth or fifth. Yeah. So there was something. It was quiet though. It was quiet. Steve was asking questions to an audio recorder in hopes to get an EVP, and he said he heard a little bit of static in between one of the questions that he asked, which I'm going to play back for you guys right now. I'm running out of questions to ask. Um, I know I heard something. If you can please try to communicate again. If you can speak, say something. You can walk around me. Whatever form of communication you would like to do. If you can please try to communicate again. If you can please try to communicate again. Even though we were kind of getting an uneasy feeling surrounding us, we were willing to stay there the whole night. We had already been out there for about four hours at this point until Scranton's finest showed up. Luckily, we didn't get a fine or trespassing charge, but we did need to pack up and leave the premise immediately, and they demanded that we turned off all our cameras and everything of that nature. Which leads us to our final question. Is this cemetery actually haunted? Honestly, a few signs that we received were a bit abnormal. The spirit box giving us pretty clear communication. Things that somebody who passed away might say. We did pick up a spike on an EMF detector. The thermal meter was coming in hot for one headstone. I was hearing footsteps close to me and around me and was unable to locate anybody as I looked around with the flashlight. Could it have been an animal? Yes, there's a possibility that maybe there was an animal out there with us at night, but we were unable to spot one anywhere as we were looking around with the flashlights. And while all these events are abnormal, Steve and I have visited some of the most haunted places in the United States. If you look up a top 10 list in the US, we've already been to two or three of them, and we've definitely encountered some things that could not be explained. However, this time just didn't really feel like one of them. But now's a great time to hear your opinion on the topic. What do you think? Do you think that this cemetery was haunted from your end of the camera? Or do you think that all the things we were picking up was just random coincidences? Let us know what you think. Drop a line down below in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Continue watching. Stay tuned. We've got a bunch of product reviews to get through this month. And also, I've got some really cool surprises in between for you guys. I got a few scary videos to upload for you between the next Hunting Purgatory episode and now. And also, if you want to win some free stuff, June is going to be the month to do it. I'm going to be giving away more products on the channel than I've ever given away in the past. So make sure you check out the product reviews and the update coming within the next day or two. I will catch you guys later. Peace.